Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to insert and insert a blank scatter chart. Then I'll right click and select data and add a new series. And I want three vertical dots. So I'm going to make the X values one, 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 and the Y values one, two, three, and okay and OK again. And now I have three vertical dots. Now I'm going to adjust the axes to put these dots in the middle of the chart. So I'll change the maximum here to two and the minimum here to 0.5 to get rid of this gap at the bottom. Now I'll remove everything else from the chart. So I have just these dots here, then I'll make the chart a little bit skinnier and then format these dots to make them look like a traffic light. So first of all, I'll increase their size to 50 to make them much larger. Then I'll select the outside of the chart and give it rounded corners and make the border a dark gray, then change the fill to a light grey, then select the circles again and remove the border and to start with I'll change the fill to red for all of them and give it a transparency of 60% to make the colours a little darker. Then I'll select the individual circles and make the middle one orange and the bottom one green. And now I have something that looks like a traffic light, but I want this to be dynamic. So I'm going to say if I have a value of 50 and then I need red and orange and green, and I need an X value and also a minimum and a maximum. And let's say that I can only have values between 0 and 100. And so if the value is between 0 and 30, I want it to be red. And if it's between 30 and 70, it should be orange. And between 70 and 100, it will be green. Then for the time being, I'm going to make all of my X values 2. But I will come back and fix this later. Then select the chart and right click and select data and add a new series. And this time my X values will be these values here. And the Y values, because I have done red, orange and green in this order, when they're plotted on the chart, they'll be upside down. So I have to do the numbers in reverse order. So three, two, one, and okay. And okay again. And then I have these three dots set off to the side. So I will also format these to look like a traffic light. So I'll make the marker size 50 again and then remove the border and for the time being I'll make all of them red then I'll select each individual shape and I want to add a glow to this so it looks like the traffic light is switched on and I'll make it a red glow then for this shape it's going to be orange and it's also going to have an orange glow. Then for this shape, it will be green and it will also have a green glow. Now, if I change these X values here to one, they will overlap with the other circles. And I only want to have one of these brighter circles showing up at any one time. Whatever the value is here will decide which color to show. And I'm going to do this using an if formula. So equals if, and then I'll open brackets 
and the logical test will be if this is greater than or equal to this value here and then close brackets and a star and this is like saying and in Excel so if both of these logical tests are true so if this is also less than this value and close brackets and comma then I want it to show me the number one and if not I want it to show me the non-applicable error message because that will stop that data point from being plotted and in order to be able to drag this formula down, I need the references to the value to be absolute references. So I'll press F4 to put the dollar signs in here. And then enter. And now if I drag this down, you can see that now only one of them has the number 1. Because the value is greater than 30, but also less than 70 and only the orange dot here looks like it's lighted up and if i change this to 20 then it's the red circle and if i change it to 80 then it's the green circle and if i do equals rand between and put in zero and a hundred then i can press f Nine, and the value will keep changing and we can see that the chart adjusts to this so it shows that it is dynamic okay so in this video I have shown you how to make a traffic light chart in Excel and that is everything